to get him like, hey, are you trying to set this thing up for you or what? <laughs> Matt Boutte. What up everybody? Bill and 4 njj here from Low Potosi. Had a little issue pop up with the Sin City 700 today. Ryan Rogers and 7RMK sent me a text. I'm at work. Machine's not passing audio. We've seen this problem before on Scott K7 RSW's um, 875 machine. We think something goes wrong on the station control module. Normally just buy or get an 800 megahertz Quantar because they're just giving those things away at this point and steal the control card from there. Out here with KI7 VLP, who's uh, playing with his new truck, his new toy. I don't know, Matt Matt might be jealous that uh, we took our, our virgin trip up here. And uh, I got the beautiful Las Vegas strip. Uh, it should be right just there. It Actually, it was pretty nice because the rain and the wind, I think, cleaned the air a little bit. All right, let's get to work before it gets dark. So I shut the machine off. It's taking out the station control module card from the Quantar. This has happened twice on K7 RSW's machine that we call the K. Look at this. So I had to tell him to pull it out. Yep. That's why I was telling Ryan. So this is a Motorola station control module card. Something on here went bad. I forgot where exactly it is. It doesn't matter, it's broken. I'm not gonna fix this in the field because I don't know how. So you're pretty sure that's a problem? Yeah. I hope that's the problem. Did you just have this lying around or did you? Have this to buy is the 420 machine. Oh. So pretty much all those components are interchangeable, a lot of them. Yep. Could you use like a control board from like a 900 machine, whatever? Yeah, that's what's around the K right now, actually. Okay. Yeah, that's what Asteroid signal report. Is that just a Panasonic tough foot rebatch for Marilla? Yeah. So it might not be making the connection all the way. So Motorola went from that big old piece to that little thing. <laughs> USB to. Alright, well, we got it working. We swapped out the station control module card, it took a dump. Um, I'll put some information, it'll probably be another video on what happened there. It took a while to get the new card in. It's kind of temperamental and you look at these cards, you're like, oh, I don't want to mess them up. Chris, you get a shot of this. The uh, routing tables here, things needed to be changed um, because Rich, K7APX, had designed a way where if you're on P25, is not going to key up and go over all star because our network's getting quite big. We got um, KFI POW out there in Fort Worth. We got N2UGS out there in Buffalo. They don't want to hear the local dead keys basically from here on their systems. So we got things tied up and I think it's time to head back down the hill. What do you think, Chris? Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah, let's get out of here. Copy their operator that still copies the 1087 and changing.